On July 16, 1945, this explosion in the desert of New Mexico changed the world forever. It was a test of the world's first nuclear bomb, called Trinity, and it was the turning point in one of the most dangerous races in human history. The nuclear story actually begins a few years earlier, in 1938, when three German scientists discovered something called nuclear fission, which is when atoms are split in a chain reaction and release a huge amount of energy. And when World War II began in 1939, a race began to use this new discovery to build a super bomb. This famous physicist, Albert Einstein, actually wrote to the US president, urging him to do it, because he was worried that the Nazis would figure it out first. And in a top secret project led by this guy, J. Robert Oppenheimer, the Americans developed and tested the world's first nuclear weapon. Two weeks later, in August 1945, they dropped two bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The bomb is dropped. The cities were almost entirely destroyed and hundreds of thousands of people died. While Japan surrendered, many were horrified, including the man who built the bomb. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The threat of nuclear weapons didn't end with the war. This is an actual video shown to kids in the US back in the 50s, when many people were worried about a nuclear attack. America had a new enemy, the Soviet Union. They were developing and testing their own nuclear weapons. And the US and its allies were racing to keep up, conducting tests in locations around the world. At the time, many people didn't realise that just testing these weapons could have catastrophic impacts. See, each blast creates massive amounts of tiny radioactive particles called fallout, which can poison people and the environment. That happened to Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands, when on the 1st of March 1954, the US set off its largest nuclear detonation ever, Castle Bravo. The Earth shook. Most of us were very afraid. Lots of Marshallese people suffered radiation sickness and died, and the islands are still contaminated. In Australia, the United Kingdom detonated 12 bombs in the Montebello Islands, Emu Field and Maralinga. We all got sick, uh, diarrhoea, vomiting, then sore eyes, and I couldn't open my eyes. But the testing continued. In 1961, the Soviets dropped Tsar Bomba, the most powerful weapon the world has ever seen over the Arctic Ocean. France, China and India also tested nuclear weapons until the 1990s. But as time went on, more and more people spoke out against them. We just want our world to live because it's a nice place. In 1995, there were huge protests over French tests in the Pacific. And the following year, many countries signed an agreement to ban nuclear weapons tests completely. These days, nuclear tests are basically unheard of, and the number of nuclear weapons is continuing to drop. And since 2009, the UN has marked August 29 as the International Day Against Nuclear Testing to remind us all of the devastating power of these superweapons. <laughs>